And a very good evening and welcome to another late night broadcast coming all the way from location 419. Uh, the fifth day of February 2021. Uh, the time is just coming up to 10 o'clock. It's getting a little bit very late here in Nigeria. My name is Ola Yomi Koiki. Uh, a lot of you know me as Koiki Media. Continue to share the broadcast and let us have another conversation. Uh, depending on how strong the body is, uh, will determine how long we can roll the program for. Uh, when I get tired, uh, we will wind it down and we will continue tomorrow. Moki Bubwe Iti Eti Lanfani Ati Dara Pomo Ito No We Eka Bosuri Ito No And we will play the anthem And we also Start looking at so many conversations uh, Because A Yoruba nation Is the cause A Yoruba nation is no backing down but also, we will be using the opportunity to also inform the federal government to tread carefully, to tread carefully because things can change at any time. The federal government knows where the terrorists are. They know where their bank accounts that they are using to transfer money around the world. And I'm sure a lot of you remember the few terrorist guys that were picked up in UAE. And they've been operating for a very long time. But it seems the federal government decide to close their eyes. The terrorists are operating with impunity, not just in Yoruba land but across the whole of the country. So we are telling the federal government that the Yorubas of this generation are not joking. And we mean every word that we speak out. In your kokon li, derubawa, afi olon obati ansi. You can be scared of the federal government, but myself and so many of you are not scared of the federal government because there has always been a generation that have conquered before. So it's not going to be new whatever will happen as we move into the dimension of a reality that a Yoruba nation is not going to back down. We have said it for a very long time. And I'll repeat it again. We have the opportunity to break away from this country peacefully. So that we can secure Bantuan Senior. We can secure our, our properties. We can secure our region. We can make sure that everybody is accounted for this generation is not 
the generation that the federal government thinks are the answers. We are not answers. My name is Olayomi Koiki. And I'm inside Nigeria. I am not answers. But let's play the anthem. And we take the program forward. Share the broadcast. I'm not going to repeat that again. If you like, it will be of opportunity for the next person that does not know I'm live to know that we are live. I've not been coming on frequently. But I will make sure I keep every one of you up to date of what is happening. And the only thing that is happening is Nigeria must break. We are not interested in Nigeria. If anyone is interested in Nigeria, let them go to the northern part of Nigeria. Live there with them. We are Yorubas. And we are not joking. And we mean every word that we have been saying for the last how many years. The federal government does not know what we can do. So they must tread carefully with us because we are not answers. Let's play the ante. If you know it, sing along with us. I respect every one of you that have been following us and all other media houses. I appreciate all my colleagues that have taken on the button, even though I have not been online frequently. I've just listened to Sister Dara. I've watched Babai Kitty. I've watched Geo TV. I've watched Bedu. I've been following some of the programs, even though you know the internet might not be as good as we might want to watch it. I can understand now why people say that I want your league. So even though the internet that we are spending with different network, we still cannot get a very good service. I still cannot use the laptop. So I understand the feelings of those in Nigeria. But we can only tell you that let us all join hands together. It doesn't matter how small or how big your own impact. It will go a very long way. It will help the generation that will pray for us. I received a call from someone this afternoon. And as usual, I do receive a lot of calls. And I take every call as important as anything else. If you get through to me, I will speak to you and I will allow you to tell us why you are not happy. Because feedback is very, very important. But one thing we must understand is 
The fight for Yoruba nation is not about me. It's not about Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igbowo. It's not about all the media. It's about collective effort. So if I am saying that we are telling the federal government, I have also included you, doesn't mean I am the bravest. We have so many people that are much more stronger than Chief Sunday. But they keep quiet. And they are just waiting for things to change. We are tired of this country. I don't know about millions of other people. But some of us are tired of this contraction we call Nigeria. Otisua. Kujeka le nisi iwaju kujeka le misayi. So obeta kapari in tagbedani. But la koko eje kaso fu joba Nigeria. Pe ibese tofe ekbe ni jo monde. Pe la county chief Sunday ade yemo ibo wo. Kwa te de e de. Kwa she suru. Koma je kwe ibiti na jira tifi kwe la mbabo nye. E sofu wan, e kilofu wan da da. E sofu joba na jira. This is not a threat. One mwa biti terrorist siti operate. Or oh, block account you want top him move away all over the place. So in your towards up way, ah, fefula ni mono lewa. That's the person you want to block his account. And you think we will sit down and allow that to happen without taking any action. I don't have to tell you what we're gonna do. But we are waiting for that to take place on Monday. And we will then prove to this government. On Monday, what we can do. Toba be a liar government ida. Kok be be say any Monday. Awana wa so fun wakwe o mo kola wano je. I'm inside Nigeria. Kan wak be be say account of a block ye ni Monday. Everything happening in Aso Rock is right happening on this phone every step every move that they do is also with us and we are not joking we will set this fire burning the country will go in flames one way or the other whether the federal government likes it or not we will set this country on fire. Serious fire if they make that attempt on Monday. Because we have had enough of the nonsense that is taking place and we, they think that we are just stupid people because we have some Yorubas, politicians colliding, colluding, one direct or one one job fulani against us. We will ground the system down completely and it can be done. I don't have to give you details. Che fulani la shinle ti on tawolara. Tabawa shi bese ke jinko. We have been negotiating our way out for decades. But it seems some of them are blockhead. They think that this generation will just continue to shout on social media. But what they cannot understand is, what are the million things that we can do collectively? What about if we activate all that across the whole Southwest with one language, that is Yoruba with one word that is Yoruba so whoever is advising the federal government they better tread carefully so that we can continue to do our awareness as we are doing it now 
so far we have not been violent. But I have said it so many times that things will change along the line. A Yoruba nation is not something we will negotiate with anybody. I have told you, not even the G20, not even Great Britain where I live, not even America, not even Joe Biden can stop it. It doesn't matter how powerful American government is. They cannot stop the Yoruba nation. It is a dream that must become a reality. And we are ready to do everything possibly best to make it happen. And we are already on that course. So if they think that they can tamper with one account, tell them they are already going to tamper with millions of people. So whoever is watching from the federal government, go back and tell them that they are going to tamper with something that they will not be able to finish eating. This generation is not our mother's and our father's generation. We are a breed of different generation. And we want to make sure that a Yoruba nation will stand. We've been played so long with the Maradona of different kind. Once again, I say a very good evening and welcome to the broadcast. A Yoruba nation that we are shouting for is not a Yoruba nation on social media. It's not about the Fulani terrorist that is making life unbearable for us. It is about a system that is not designed for the Yoruba people. We have literally gone more lorry live show missing, more lorry broadcast missing, more lorry broadcast missing. All right. We have literally gone 60 years behind schedule, and we don't have the time to joke and mess around. We are 60 years behind schedule. So the question now is, can anybody add 60 years? See how Jory won't be seen. He just will go on like a bad one. He'll get away. So when some of you are saying that, uh, like somebody that called me and he starts telling me, eh, 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 kimi kon, eh, eh, ogun, moni, she, ilo yi bote yi mbe yi, wo, jag moni beri. That's the question I ask the person. She iloi bote in beye wo jaguni beri kawa to debe kawa wan badu ni sin kawa joko si loi bo tan so pe a fe jeki wa la divide. This is not about politics here. I don't want us to keep mixing it. And this is not about Chief Sunday at the Yemo. It's about every single one of us. I saw Shore, I was being treated. Look at the way they were treating him. I was watching him today in Abuja. But they think that we are stupid. We will just allow them to continue to maltreat every Yoruba sons and daughters. And keep your mouth shut if you say, you know, Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba has got nothing to do with Yoruba nation. I'm not interested in that. We will defend every Yoruba sons and daughters. These is going to get nasty. The first major is on the countdown already. The 90 days is already on the countdown. But we are not backing down on what we called a Yoruba nation. 
whether we go peacefully or not, whether we go through anarchy, whether we go through another war, so be it. I would rather go into a war where I know that this country will no longer bear Nigeria than continue to be in a country where we are 60 years behind schedule. Some of you don't even understand the atrocity that this country you call Nigeria has literally done on the millions of so many lives that are not even just Yoruba people. Where impurity of few people have kept every one of us to the lower, lowest stool, where we are now becoming an asylum seeker in another man's country. Where we have become an asylum seeker because our own land is about to go into extinction. And it seems everybody thinks that this is a joke. But we are telling them that the Yoruba nation is not something that we will negotiate. I stand firm, firm, every day I wake up with the Yoruba nation cause. And that is why I prove to those that say we cannot come down to Nigeria and do the same thing we are doing in UK. UK, why they get the Iliba banning? UK accommodated us after we have paid the due price. Some of you paid 20 years, some of us 30, 40. And I'm sure some of you understand what I'm talking about. So are we going to allow more generation to seek asylum in UK, in America, in Germany, in France, in Italy, in Lebanon, in Cairo, in Saudi Arabia, so that we can leave our land to the terrorists to operate with impunity and the federal government close their eyes? I'm sure, I don't want to pay any video. I'm sure you've listened to the governor of Benway State that is asking the federal government, why would they... Fulani terrorists carry an AK-47 and then you want to collect the pump rifle from an average citizen in the country. Have you not seen how many people have been killed? The question is, this country is no longer working for every one of us. Is it a must that we must be together? She don't allow to work together. Me. Why must we be together? Oh, for the selfish interest of some few Yoruba bastard and some Igbo bastard and Ausa bastard and some other tribes that wants to keep Nigeria as against people that are now going to go and seek asylum and die on the Mediterranean Sea. Is that what you want us to do? So we should be playing politics. Oh, or the churches and the mosques that are telling us that we go to heaven, but right here we are in hellfire. That we must live in a painful life. As I just one hour ago, somebody was asking for 5,000 naira. Is that a country? Is that a country? 5,000 naira, just less than an hour ago. The daughter has been in the, you know, in the, in the hospital, but they are looking for 5,000 Naira. Is that the kind of country you want us to continue to play with the lives of the people? And people think this is about, you know, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram conversation. We are talking about reality of what is happening to our people. Oh, yes, some of us have opportunity to have neglected and decide. But what about the generation that is coming? What do we tell them? Kill a mass of war. Kill a mass of war. Kill a mass of war. 
what kind of life are we going to tell the next generation that we live, that we saw and we refuse to do anything? 5,000 Naira, the person was looking for. We have people that are all over the country, not just even in the Southwest, that does not even understand why we are called Nigeria, because the crude oil that is meant to be for the whole country has been gagged by few people. So, who is really asking us to keep one Nigeria? Some people will say it's about leadership. Are you serious? They are playing our lives like Ludo and Kite, Emma Kite. But we are telling them that no retreat, no surrender. Kakaki, I want in one Nigeria. I have damaged one Nigeria. Kakaka, I want in one Nigeria. I have damaged one Nigeria. You take me. Oni, oni, be anybody. No, at a one, at a wow. Oni, be anybody. And it will happen. But what we are doing now, and what we've been doing, is we've been doing just the awareness tell those politicians and let me come straight to our governors all the yoruba governors that still think that they will go for another election in 2023 that it is too late for that now that the Yorubas are now more wiser we are not interested in any political party whether they are PDP, AAC uh, APC, uh, COA party, whatever party they are we are not interested and that is why we say we will not go for another election on the fraudulent of this country called Nigeria this country must divide so that everyone if some yoruba don't want to go along with us so be it they can go to the north and operate from there but we will make life un unbearable miserable for those that still want one nigeria we will make life miserable for them the way they have made life miserable for so many of us some of you are in nigeria your life has been miserable some of you are living outside the country. You don't even know what kind of life you are living. You are just waking up every day and you are thinking, hey, life like this. Huh? Are we really living a proper life? Are we really living a proper life? I am asking question. Are we living a proper life? Every day you wake up, ask yourself, hey, even whether you live in America, knowing that your roots is about to go in extinction. Let us tell all the legislatives in Yoruba land that if they are thinking about 2023, they better start thinking otherwise. Because we will not allow election to hold in this country they call nigeria in 2023 that's if nigeria does not break before 2023 because we've had enough of the nonsense that is taking place tell all the senators that are representing the southwest that we have had enough of their game but we are not going aligned with another election And they can make any attempt of whatever they plan. But Because I see and I feel and I know that there are so many Yoruba politicians 
that are having meetings day in, day out, thinking about 2023. But they are not thinking that this country is going on fire. That this Buhari's government is about to make this country go on fire as quickly as possible. And they think we are going to be scared of them. Scared of who? Who are we going to be scared of? We can only be scared of the creator, the one that created me, when nobody knew when I was going to be created. So why should I be scared of the federal government? Who is the federal government that we should be scared of? Are they, are they God? They are not God. They are just human beings like me. And why should I be scared of them? Scared of the who? Scared of the governors? Shirima Kinde? Scared of Grababiodun? Shonwolu? Scared of who? And we are going to make sure that every Yoruba state we will defend it to the last man standing. And I am repeating it again. We will defend every Yoruba territory. We don't want Fulani on our land. It's not just about Fulani. We don't want to be part of Nigeria. Being part of Nigeria is crime against humanity. Crime against humanity. And it is time that we tell those Yorubas, politicians, to come back home before it is too late. And it about your own, they just our own, they just colleagues that you know them. All the Yoruba politicians representing us tell them to back down that we are not going to take this easy with them. We are not. Advise them. Tell them that this breed of generation is different. And we are not just talking on social media. Go and speak to your uncles. Those of you that your uncles are politicians. Tell them the politics of Amala and Eba that they have been playing with our life is enough. Where I see young children selling on the high road. And a politician will drive next to them in air condition while their own daughters are outside the country sending dollars to them and pound sterling. But go on the high road now on all our major high road. You will hear cries of mothers that does not have money to feed their children. And people think this is a joke we will sacrifice up to the last man standing because we have had enough enough of this contraction called Nigeria but what can you do as individuals as groups of people you don't need to contact us before you do something the role of a Yoruba nation is not about Professor Banja Kitoy alone. It's not about me. It's not about every single one of us must now stand firm. It's not about until you see Sunday Bowo go from one place to the other. No. It's about every one of us to defend what belongs to us. And we will defend it shoulder to shoulder together across the whole Yoruba land. We have told you so many times the, the atrocity that has been committed on the Yoruba people, some of you might not even understand it. Even myself included. The damage 
that this country damage it will it she jambati no it is a fuwa a tell lake basi no osuwa ke wa ne fe we let's leave our kings but let's focus and tell the yoruba politicians because they seem to be thinking that we are forgotten about them all about it by they are playing with our lives we are telling them to start debating about the yoruba nation right in the house of assembly but they are thinking that it is she be watching really be joke see me what's your really joke see Nimati wo bari bi joko si ta won na ri bi imu to ri bi imu to imu won ti mu won to fo fere lojo jumo then they will know that we are serious lori tagbedani to ri in tagbedani ko sere rara in tagbedani ko sere ko se ba atamala we are talking about how our lives will be better decades 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 because in a thousand years you cannot change the mindset of the fulani terrorist and we have a government that is protecting the interest of the fulani let us tell them again don't take that step to block chief sunday adeyemo account on monday as the federal government is taking the step this is not just about protest now it's about action that will lead to so many things. That action is already in the pipeline. Some of those actions is what we've been doing for one year. Talking to people. Engaging whether they believe it or not. But this time around, real action will also start enrolling. And then the federal government will know whether we are serious or we are not serious. And we will want them to prepare very well for us. Because we are also preparing very well for them. And let's also use this opportunity to tell all the Yorubas working with this government to tread carefully. Because this is a fight for every single Yoruba sons and daughters. We are not telling you to leave the position you are working right now. I'll be stupid to tell you to do so. But as Yoruba sons and daughters that we are crying for the benefit that would be something that every single one of us will enjoy in the long run. Whether you are in the military, whether you are in the Navy, whether you are with the police, whether you are civil servant, your interest must be with the Yoruba people. Interest in Olati Walati Yorubanio, Kuishi Joba Fulani, that have disrespected you, have never allowed you to get to that position of even as 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 a, a Inspector General of Police would never add a Yoruba person. When was the last time a Yoruba man was the Inspector General of Police? When was the last time a Yoruba person was the chief of staff? We know the game that they're playing, the North. Killing all our men and women, just like Tolu Lokba Rutile was killed. Because she would have been the first female Navy officer or whatever they give them as position. But rather, she was killed right inside the same country so every single one of you working with the federal government or the state level when the clarion call is made you must back down for the interest of the yoruba people because if you do not back down for the interest of the yoruba people your generation will be wiped off completely as well along with the Fulani terrorist government because this government is a terrorist government that have literally killed millions of people 
and millions of people are still being killed as we speak right now. Go on the high road. Go in our hospital. Go to everywhere. Nothing is functioning. Is that the kind of life you want us to continue? So if you have family working with the security agents, whichever one, a loss of one that a family, a one or my jack, this is not about Chief Sunday at the or Okoiki or whoever you think are powerful. The spirit will fight on our behalf. The God of the Yoruba land will fight on our behalf. And to buy that way, it can be now. I don't sorrow, the lorry, you got there, but you are lorry show. But to buy that way, lorry, or to talk now, I joke only lorry. Timotoria was in Nigeria. Timotoria is okay. I want to one delay just to prove to you that there's nothing that can make me scared to come back home. I could have continued all this program in UK. But just to let those that were doubting Thomas that I cannot come home. Why will I not be able to come home? This is my father's land. The spirit and the gods will protect me. Oh yes, they will do all manners of things. But that's if the gods allow them to be successful on it. Because Uriyo Tito Nimudurole and that alone is what more than millions of other things so advise your relatives a family that but can oh my ya and they should listen to us as we are telling them i don't have any problem with the yoruba policeman or yoruba policewoman they are not my problem i don't have problem with the yoruba military man or yoruba military woman same with navy same with air force same with different different units but our problem will be if they are going to use the same energy with the full army to come after us then there will be cause forever you know what pata pata those that say that they have so much money and they are Yorubas, I pity them because they are looking at us as if we are so desperate and we don't know what we want or we don't know what we need because they are so comfortable in their own zone. But they do not understand that these nation that they are calling Nigeria we go away very soon. It will. Nigeria will end. How it will end is what myself and you do not know. But we call the end here. Leave that. Nigeria will definitely end. It will eventually end. Because everything that you are looking at. Where is Yemi Osibajo? The vice president, shockman devil. Where is he? Where is he? He's been caged. He can no longer talk. Because is that a professor? Professor of law. I have told him to resign his position. In his best interest as a Yoruba man. He doesn't have to finish with this government. He can resign now. He can resign tomorrow. Where is he? A professor of law where Yoruba people are being killed and he's not saying anything. Where is the vice president? Where is he? So what is the essence of his education? As a professor, you would expect that as a professor, he would have common sense to do the right thing as he's done around the world. But he's no longer interested in Yoruba as well is more interested in maybe his own ambition as well maybe he think he can become the next president he's wasting his time and that goes 
as well with all the Yoruba politicians. They think that they are more than us. I laugh. Professor Ruga, yes, you're right. Sorry, I can't read all the comments, you know, because I'm very tired, but I have to do this. Let us tell Professor Ruga, Yemiu Sibajo, where is all these big pastors and these imams? Why are they not saying anything? So they want us to continue to pray to God and then we will go to heaven and then have a good life. We must have that good life before we die in this Yoruba nation. So all those churches still praying for one Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria, you are all bloody wasting your time. Because there's nothing called unity. The unity has expired long time ago. We are not united and we can never because we are not the same. And we will never, never be the same. Where is all the professors across the university around the whole of the country that are Yorubas? Are they happy with the situation of things? Can you keep moving it? Are they happy? With the situation of things. Shiba Shima Baba Lolili. Is it how we're going to continue to deceive ourselves that we are living a normal life and then until we die, we will then. How many of our parents that are still alive we give thanks? What about those that have died? What was their benefit of this country called Nigeria? Ask yourself that question. Your parents that have died, that have passed on, may their soul rest in peace. What has been their benefit of this country called Nigeria? I can see you there, Citizen AY. And all our media houses. What has been their benefit? What has been the benefit of all your parents? <coughs> what has been their benefit? What has been their benefit? What has been the benefit of your parents or your grandparents that have died? since they were coming from one nigeria so why not allow us to destroy this one nigeria before it destroyed the next generation once again we are not going to negotiate with anybody and let us warn all the politicians that whatever money that they have that they want to use either to bribe to maim to kill to destroy it is too late it will be better for them to keep that money and go and enjoy it but if they are thinking that uh, you know they will use their money and their influence to suppress the Yoruba nation movement it is extremely late now it's late. It is completely late. Very, very late. So we are advising them for their own interest that they back down. Because we are not going to step back. We are moving forward every day. Our awareness has not stopped. Our campaign has not stopped. And that is why every single one of you is better we put every effort, every last penny we have, whether you donate to different platform, as long as the cost of it is to liberate our people. It does not literally have to be Koiki Media. 
I've seen Maureen go fund me. You can see what triggers. Let us continue to support. Let us continue to do as much. Let us take the awareness to every single part of the Yoruba land. You don't have to consult us before you do it. You don't have to see me or speak to me before you do it. We appreciate every single donor. Every single one of you. It doesn't matter how small, how big. We would rather use our energy to come out of this contraction. Because if not, you cannot come back home. Because your home is no longer safe. So why then are we fooling ourselves and we don't throw every weight let's throw it into it once again for the benefit of those that are in doubt that this country will break something will trigger it something will push the breakup but we must all remain vigilant the federal government does not know that they are already chewing one day into war. They believe that this is like in the 1960, 1966, and all those times. But what they don't understand is this is a different time entirely. They call it time zone. The time zone that they don't understand how it would all happen in their eyes. Some of you will ask, what can we do? What should we do? These are the same questions that a lot of people ask. But you can do so many things. You can continue to speak to people, engage the people. Those that are thinking that because we have bad political leaders and all those nonsense that is why you know uh, we are trying to say we should break away from nigeria but they don't understand the genesis of nigeria where great britain join us in this false marriage that has put every one of us in danger No luck. We're having a problem with the Wi-Fi, but let's see how far it goes. We must not back down. We must not give up. We must not get tired. Some of you say we've lost weight. Is it not better to lose weight fighting the cost that is right than for me sitting down in the UK and eating McDonald's every day and become so big and then my people are suffering where somebody cannot get 5,000 Naira for medical care for their daughter. So what is the essence of me eating big, big food in Europe where my people, my people, they suffer for ground here? Kila afanye. Kila afanye kubo wala atawana nshe. Tolipe elobi amani wala iti fwe wakpo jubai. She could better keep her line cook more than Becky and Rupert or Nino Badu. But I want to see a busy time at another busy only or not. Jacob Jory, are we going to move everybody out of the Yoruba land to go and live in UK and claim asylum or in Scotland in Dublin? I have really I've, I've watched some of the videos of you know stupid bloggers. That say you know uh, we don't know what we are talking about. We want to break up this country. What the what what the fuck is in this country? Rubbish. What What is in this country? What is literally in this country? What is in this country? I'm asking them. What is the benefit of this country? Who is it benefiting out of the whole country itself? Talon benefit. So when I say we should keep. You know the country 
I, you, the question you ask, you, you should be asking them is, what is the essence of keeping this shit all? Even shit is better because sometimes the shit is either thick or pete pete. But the shit of this country has done damage to millions of people that some of you will never even have opportunity to see. Go on the road. Go to Ibadanye. Go to Ogun State. Go to Lagos. Go to Ilori. Go to Kogi. And those are part of Yoruba land that we must take back. And we will not leave them behind. All these other Seriki should be prepared for us. We are coming to every state. No more Fulani on the Yoruba land. Enough is enough. No more Fulani terrorists terrorizing us, killing our mothers, sleeping with them, plucking somebody's eyes. These are animals that we cannot live with. And we are not interested to negotiate with anybody. Enough is enough. And we must end this contraction. I will open the phone line for a few minutes. If you're calling, please make sure you mute the device so that we are not hearing the feed coming back. So that I can also hear from you so that you are not saying that ah, but I know that we are all on the same page. I have told you I am just an ordinary guy. But what I know is, I will fight this to the end. To the end until we get what belongs to us. Take a few calls quickly. Not more than a minute. Go straight to your point. There's not much of greetings because there's so many people watching and I know thousands of you want to have your voice into it. Hello caller, straight away to your question or contribution tonight. <laughs> never listened to you before but you speak correct things and may god almighty bless you amen and all these things what you want while i keep i know you mentioned you wanted to take back some yoruba land how about quara then let me however i want to work pencil there is a story to move on, which is about a year ago. What is going on? People are still not I want to buy Nigeria again. I want to buy Europe again. But on top of all, listen, only where do we go from here? What do we do? How do we proceed? How do we move forward? Because I want to have been saying this to you. On the matter of our affairs. Everybody must want pressure to tell the political elite mm. that we are not going to go align with them for 2023. Whatever that they are rich. thinking is as that simple as that. Rich. We are Man, telling them this is not about the royal fathers anymore now. We are focusing I now on the political listen elite. To, I've listened to Maureen, I've listened to other people. Look, you speak so much sense. You speak so much sense. And this is it. Which we come from here, only this uh, money that they, we try to contribute, I don't know how much came out of my wallet to contribute to, 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 to us, uh, GD uh, funding. And, and once we block blocking, mm. what we need to put a strategy in place. Okay. So that these people do not rule us any point. Now you mentioned full name. Yes. Well, I'm already in 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 in, in Obu. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine mm. the man of Igbo? Mm. He, 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 oh, I said it only five hundred million. Mm. Where did he get the Where did money, they get from? money from? Yeah. Hey. So not, Where did he get that. the money from? Mm. And he is. Hold on, sir. Hey, just sir. Do you have our boys? Our Prime Minister, do you have his mobile number? He full of name, Omas, your one lale. Only number, only number, only number, DSP. 
I want more Lugon. The number uh -huh. DSP lower. My people all over the place. It's it, 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 it just a, it's just shameful. Yeah. Just shameful. Right. or new. Mm. Because this man, Tan he has it's like be much a papara neo. Yes, sir, please. Okay. If you go back to that story. Yeah. Lauren. Yeah. Lauren here. Enough, oh, oh no, the palace because yeah. they, they will come under him mm. and he, he decide who does what. There is another doctor to walk back. Hey, about to then, wrap it so that woman, I can give more calls. Well, sir. Mm. Indeed, I, I'm so sorry. That's I, fine, that's fine, sir. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm right with you. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you so much. Thank you very I'm much. So that we can take more calls, please. Mm -hmm. You know, let's do it as quickly. I want as many people to contribute. Uh, our political elite must be told that we are not interested in going for another election in 2023. Hello, caller. Good, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, well done. Well done with what you're doing. And well done to South Egg we're really proud of you. And this is not the time for long stories. Mm. It's not the time for long stories anymore. And it's not the time for us to say we're going to listen to our, our kings, our ballet, or, or anything. It's got nothing to do with it, us. This is the time for the young people yeah. to take, take charge of their future. Yeah. We need to fight. Yeah. We need to do this. We're not going to listen. There's no sentiment involved right mm -hmm. now. We can't keep talking. Yeah. Everyone is saying you're about to pass. I just just want to stop talking. Yeah. This is, is, is enough. We, yeah. we, 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 there's no more talk. We need to do this. No more royal fathers. We, we're not taking anything from you. royal fathers. They, 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 they let us down. Yeah, completely. They already let us down. Completely. We're not listening to them yeah. anymore. There's no sentiment. Yeah. It's nothing. There's no... We don't owe any. We, we, don't any, know, any we, we don't know. We don't know. We don't even owe them anything. Take They're it right. in our hands. They're right. You're we're right. not doing this with nobody. We're mm. doing it for ourselves. Yeah. We're doing it for our children. Yes. The, the old generation is gone. Gone we completely. Completely gone. Yeah. One old person, one <laughs> old generation cannot keep holding our, our future into ransom. Yeah. This is the point that came rolling yeah. with our lives. We have to fight this. You're and right. we have to do it now. Yes. We cannot let it slide. Definitely. We cannot. All right. Thank you very we much. Move. We Thank move. You. We move. Thank you very much. Let's go straight to the next caller. Uh, plus four four seven five nine. Sorry, I did put the number out. Some of you knows the number already. Plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine. Let's make it as sweet as possible, quickly, so that we can get as many people. Am I a co Hello, caller. Hello, Ekalesa. Ekalesa. Hello, Ekalesa. But those things just a few kilometers. See, the city Ganada is the one. The Karam is Ganada is the one. Ajoale is the one. Just a few kilometers. See, Ben, I borrowed a me last month. The one walking up when the local jar. Ni be ni abaji. I mean, inu le not loba on top be one. Mo moyeti mo son. Kudo di bon release here. If I thought they come and sorrow. Twelve thousand euro, but don't pay you. Who tifu la dimberi is equal to twelve thousand euro. Ni 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 who 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 are they? That's that's one one year sal one year salary lo mi ni ani lo ibo. Money money thing bad the twelve the twelve thousand euro. That why because mo she wan bigo ni ti ni document he do he oh he where he pay you lawo. Mo the very twelve thousand euro. So I get for long, all our thing laying. Am I your dosti saying? All right. Ma, mo de send the picture yes in yes. No, no. I'm aware of it. I'm aware. There's a lot of atrocity taking place on a daily basis. So that the quicker we shut down the system, the better for us. So. I don't want. I don't want. Koko ni dosti. 
just few kilometers. See, we take Ghana down to Wa. We carry a lot of Wa more more than that. Then we take going to continue more. Just maybe five or ten kilometers. See, we don't Wa. Once you pay your lane, easy. Okay. Alright, to return. I should have you. Right, because of the time, uh, not more than two minutes, so that we can take as many calls as possible. Uh, because I won't be able to stay long. I'm not feeling very strong. Hello, caller. Good evening. Yes. Hello, Mr. Craig. Hello, okay. Mr. Craig. Hello, 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 Mr. Craig. Yes. Because so there's thousands of people that want to okay, get through, so you're lucky to get through. I can't listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't tell you. Shola no sorrow, not see the problem. I'm not in my chat. Very what's up? Um. Anyway, I will just make it brief. I think I'm making you from Chad Bashi. We are all doing it together. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. We're all alone. Alone, my phone is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But Chemo, or however it is. So I point me to the more so on the plan no more reporter. If any motor to want to pay what see as send last in diaspora, if they the millions and all that or so. Um as for me, if you like so three more or less like pay wanting more avenue one as the power so far more to cool in the media. About about to organize everything. Come and announce it to Banja the more. That is conversation. If they go for me, there's no way anybody can have access to the go for me. The go for me is going to be through the Nigerian government. The go for me is a is a is a platform that is UK. So the government cannot lock the go for me. So and they cannot stop it and they cannot write a petition on it. People raise money on go for me for different reasons. So as long as it's not being used for terrorist purpose, so you know that there's nothing anybody can do to that. A go for me is the open I get, I get to go to, No, Mr. Craig, I get for you. Yeah. So, the announcement of the amount, shall I pay for that government? The same thing, not like John Saul. Nobody's okay. announcing it. See, that one, Sarah, I'm also the go for me. What they marry you to one day, what they multiply, what they buy you, but I say, oh, Nigeria. Okay, okay. Let's okay. understand, because you're not missing. Much, much, yeah, uh, hey, okay. Whatever is there is what they will just take it back to what Nera is value, and they'll say, hey, you don't allow it. That point paper, no, it's so. So all that they cannot well, do anything to that. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh yeah, me move on. Yeah. 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 Chetri video ti won ni kijade ni pa eh oni ati e je ka move on lori e ma no 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 because yeah. you have some beg go point of yeah. entry the men pay so mo pay there will always be traitors among us there's no doubt yes there's no doubt yeah <laughs> so chetri o ta o to ba wa pelu ti so le bo we're working on all that. We're definitely working on all that. I don't want us to go into too much details on that. So, we're going to get this or 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 this um, you guys have to call back again. Um, few callers have come through. Uh, plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine. It's a lot of calls. Um, I don't have a lot of strength. I'm sure you can see it on my face. But again, um better can look up when I get an innocent. Come up with Japodice. Come up with Shiri. Shiri, Ibati, Energy, what I want to see. O better cut it in low. Call it in real no coja. Come up back, pay pupo. Hello, Gami. I go to Kenya. I go to Kiesi. We go and buy binus or lodi yoti. What damu? What damu? I want to buy bauda. Joshebe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What you are, whoa, whoa! I want to buy Bauja. I want to buy Bogutio. 
So good evening to my beautiful mother. I could spot her right there on the trade. Uh, good evening, mother. Uh, good evening to every one of you that have also been part of the program. Um, let us say this loud and clear. We cannot be scared of anybody. You know why? Because those bodies that you're talking about are created by person. Uh, why should we be scared of them? We are asking for our rights. Etowa Laberifu. And our right must be given to us, you know, whether they like it or not. And our right is not something that we want to negotiate with anybody. The politicians have opportunity. Now, those opportunity is not something that, uh, you know, they, they, should, they should joke with before it is too late. Let them take the right step. Let them start debating about the Yoruba nation. One minute, caller. Let them start discussing about the Yoruba nation. And there's no going back we're not going to back down so if they think that maybe you know we will stop we will get quiet we will get tired they are just joking we have just started hello caller good afternoon or good morning good evening whatever you are and go ahead quickly yeah good evening it's me in america call them for yeah I, thank you very much for the job you are doing thank you so much i'm happy the way you are pushing it, even your speech today is so wonderful, it's so powerful. Thank you so much. And what I want to say about the Sunday, uh, uh, Sunday, Bobo, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Sunday, Bobo, the account, you think they are going to block it, the account. You don't need to emphasize it. Let them do it. That one will fasten everything. It will make everything fast. Just leave it. Don't emphasize on it again. Yeah. Right. Let them block it. Right. It will fasten everything. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Don't just much. say anything. Go and fast. Let them go ahead. Don't keep quiet. Let them go ahead. No problem. When they go ahead, that will fasten everything. No All problem. of us will come out. Thank you. You understand? Much. Everybody will come out for that. No problem. Okay? That's Thank a gateway. You. It will be a gateway for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go on. Thank you very much, my brother. Americana uh, is a very good brother, a Biafra, uh, you know, and a very supporting one as well. Hall Hill, the Biafra. All hail the middle belt. All hail the Arewa. Let us divide this country. Let everybody stay on their lane. And that way, you know, we can appreciate more each other. This time, this country is not working. It's not going to work for me. It has not worked for anybody. It has not worked for the Biafra. Let's go straight to the next caller. Hey, hello, my brother. 
that we missed you. We actually miss you. And we thank God for the time that you are doing. Along what God promotes in you. I joke, I'm a figure, I lay you back. So what I want you to do is arrive. Sharing got to move first on the Let us be focused. Focus, focus, focus. Along what they want you to a lot of people will ask what can we do oh yes you can do so many things whether you are praying whether you are going to contribute whether you're going to do a lot of strategy those strategy can be done in big pocket put those strategy in place in your community in your town hall you know engage the people and that will also facilitate how we're going to come out of this contraction called Nigeria Enough yes. is enough. Hello, good morning, good evening, and yes, welcome sir. to the program. Uh, I say good evening, I appreciate uh, can you go straight to the point. In cutting the best of me, in cutting, cutting, Joba, in the Vena, don't you, let's say, that's a dream company. In this, you can tell me, I want you to see it. Just give me a few minutes, no call. Let me play a video just to buttress what the last caller said. There was a video I captured on our way to Ilaru, and this is what the guy has to say. Just bear with me, please. Do not call yet. Please do not call. I want us to listen to this video. If you're calling, you're disturbing the, the video. It is important that we watch this video. This video was captured by me on our way to Ilaru, where another vehicle, another vehicle was saying that he's ready to die. Die! And he must be called when the time comes. So this is not a joke and it's not a threat. So let us go peacefully or we go the other way around. Let's watch the video again. And that tells me thousands and thousands a motorcycle boy rode with us all the way from Abelkuta straight into Ilaro from Ilaro to where we had the operation of the Fulani and all the way back because we went back again to Abelkuta before we finally came back to Ibadan and this young boy, Loyo Kada, was with us all the way through. If federal government thinks otherwise, they don't know who is Chief Sunday and the Yemo Ibogo. Well, Montong Kwebe, Toba Montong Kwebe, we're back down. The Yoruba nation is about every one of us, and we are not backing down. Take a few more calls. 
and then I'm going to start winding down slowly. Like I said, it's not going to be a late night broadcast for too long. Hello, good evening. Good evening, my brother. How are you? There's no way I can do that. It's gonna be it's gonna be mixture, Emma Birosa. I've I've said that from so many I'm speaking to the international community. I want I want thank I've said it so many times. Teba fe program Yoruba ni kon. Teba lo soda wo ojudua TV. Yoruba lo soni be direct. I cannot. I have said it so many times. I cannot go back into it. If nobody is happy with the Yoruba and the English, there's nothing I can do to that. You know, it's going to be mixture. I'm very sorry. I've said that so many times. It's the problem. There's no problem. About All right. But, uh, we go straight to the next mm -hmm. caller. If you want a Yoruba program. There are so many programs. Ten your logo, they speak your about direct. If nobody's happy with that, you know, so you cannot tell me what to do on the platform. So if you want to listen, there's nothing much I can do. You know, I'm speaking to the international community. It's not, not just the Yoruba people. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Kodeki. Okay. Hello, Mr. Kodeki. 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 Hey, you're meeting a little sorrow. Hello? She said that's what you programmed me. Hello? Come on. What's your plan? 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 What's more life for the program, so I don't care what we have more life for the program. I saw a little more life for the program. I saw a little, it's probably not where I'm live from. Program mine is blocked already, anyway. Um, I think that'll be about it for me this evening. Um, I'll be back again, same time. Again tomorrow, I can't take any more calls. I wish I can do more. Um, it's quite a little bit late here, and I sleep very, very early so that um, I can have enough energy. Uh, we appreciate every one of you. Tell your uncles, your brothers, your nephews, they should not think about 2023. It's going to be a waste of time. Nigeria will break before 2023. Last year, Dumari, we're not taking any more calls. Uh, you know, so I'm going to turn off these. Uh, the internet on this so that the cause is not going to come true anymore. Uh, one thing we can all do for ourselves is let us engage. You know, this was given to us. It's not enough. We have said it again and again. Somebody deliver this to us today. It's um, the Yoruba Nation awareness stickers, uh, fl uh, flyers as we requested. Right, these should be bundles and bundles and bundles that should be going from one corner of the Yoruba land. If every one of us, like I said, you don't have to send the money, give us these, we will make sure that it gets to where it needs to get to. Right, and these was delivered, um, you know, this afternoon, so we still need a lot of that. Uh, more stickers. We will continue to update you what the situation is. Um, we will definitely be visiting other states very soon. I'll be telling you closer to the time. But one thing is, the politicians are thinking that this is a joke. And I pity them. And all of my 45 to do. Federal government gone in Konile Konile Rather than them raising the motion of why we were not want to be part of the Nigeria again, they are thinking that we are just going to keep quiet. But if you know the politicians, tell them that we are telling them collectively that the Yoruba race is about to brighten up. 
we have been kept underneath for too long. And this time around, we want to prove to the world that we can change the dynamic. But that dynamic can only be changed, not inside Nigeria. In Nigeria that does not have the opportunity, the Nigeria that has expired, the Nigeria that is the fraudulent country that cannot even support you with a thousand naira from your bank. So who are you keeping Nigeria for? For what purpose are you trying to save Nigeria? Who do you want to save Nigeria for? Let us unite. Let us stand together. Yes, some of us, we do more than the others, but we appreciate every single person. Not just on this platform, all the media platforms. There's nothing for you to be scared of to come home if you want to be part of the movement. They cannot do anything to any one of us. We are more than them. That's what a lot of you don't know. The numbers. We have the numbers to play with. And this country don't know what they're dealing with. <laughs> you want me to show you that Ibarapa again? Just to remind you. Let me see if I can quickly show you. Let me just remind you of what took place in the Barakba. It might look like it's quite long ago, but that Ibarakba will still be something that millions of people will remember. There was so much energy because they wanted to chase away the full army from their land. And I'm sure some of you have heard Seriki says each time Tobago Sunday Buwaye Maja. This is not about me. I am not perfect. I am not the bravest. But I will stand shoulder to shoulder with every single one of us. We will not leave anybody behind. And we will not leave every state behind. You don't have to send a flyer to me. Send it to other media houses operating on our behalf in the country. Send it to Kogi, Kwara, Oshu, Ondo. Send it to them. Support them. Don't, this is not a time to think you know, otherwise. We haven't got the time. I had the opportunity to see Professor Banja Kitoye. I won't go into details of the meeting. But I can tell you, his heart is with Yoruba nation. His body is with Yoruba nation. At the age of 80, and you are still thinking otherwise. Tiba about 80 years old with so much energy in him. No mommy, no mommy, no mommy. So why are you thinking otherwise? I know some of you say we should be careful. Oh yes, we are taking precaution. We are not going to be stupid. But I am not scared of anybody. I'm only scared of my creator. I'm only scared of my creator. Scared of this government. Scared of this government. Never, 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 I said. Never, never. They say we cannot come to Nigeria. I asked them why. Who owns Nigeria? I'm not coming to Nigeria. I'm coming to Yoruba land. And if they make any attempt, we will not tell you what will happen. But we are prepared for them. Even UK will not save the hearts of this country. All their moves, if you have any vital intelligence, share that with us. Share those information with us. Give it to us. Don't hesitate. Share that information with us. Don't let this government to scare you. Omo Yoruba lawa, awo ki she fulani. Ade ki shawusa, ade she ibo. Omo Yoruba niwa, awo goro ma beru joba. Ani beru joba. 
And the mistake of the past will not repeat itself because the world has changed. It's a global village. I'm speaking to millions of you across the globe since last year. Some of you will never have opportunity to see me physically, but our message has touched you from the point of where you that what we are saying is the fact. But the pain that our people are going through is different from the picture that you see on the videos. And that is why we must all remain focused, like our last caller. Sorry, I can't take any more calls. The line is, is already closed. I wish I can take more calls. I haven't got the energy tonight. But what I want us to remember is, this is our mother's. I hope you can hear the cry of our mothers. So don't sit down and say it's got nothing to do with me. Oh, what you know? You take for you. I'm very wounded. Be I'm very wounded. Oh, these are the people feeling the pain in every town, rural areas. They do it, no, Shani. Let's get another. Just want to refresh our mind. This is Dr. Fatai Aborole's parent crying, asking for justice. Up to now, the federal government and the state governors have not given us who killed Dr. Fatai in Ibarakba. That's the mother crying there. Let's play that again. Okay, I think that's a short one. I have a long one. That is the mother of Dr. Fatai Aborodi. Now, let me show you 
the energy of that day. Let's show you the energy of what took place on that fateful day. Did you see the crowd? I hope the federal government knows what they are playing with. Did you see? Hey, Lipawaton, you cannot kill all the Yorubas on Yoruba land. Go possible. Have a very good evening. My name is Olayo Mikoiki. Thank you very much to everyone that have joined us. Share the broadcast. Let it reach. Download it. I can't have access to the YouTube to download anything. Help us to download it on YouTube and share it on as well. Uh, thank you very much. I can see Adekunla Depoji there. Have a very good evening from this end. My name is Olayo Mikoiki. Bye for now.